cancer is one disease that sends majority of women shivering with fear. Justifiable fear, I must say. This is because in this part of the world, not much has been given as respite to those living with this dreaded disease. Medical experts say the thousands of women that die daily as a result of breast cancer can be avoided by early detection. This we will find out soon on this program. Hello and welcome to Medical Insights. It is a most dreaded disease, especially among the women folk. The statistics are frightening and would readily send shivers down the spine of women because the prevalence rate is on the rise. Recent figures show that the disease affects globally about 21% of women. In Nigeria, breast cancer is the latest killer disease. Mrs. Betty Anyangwa Kiridulu has survived the disease for 15 years. She is the founder of Breast Cancer Association of Nigeria, Brickon. Breast cancer is a disease that has a woman's face. Do not say you are protected by anything. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, there are over 100,000 new cases of the disease in Nigeria each year. With the dearth of reliable statistics and the fact that some of the cases are unreported, the figure could be a lot higher as high as 500,000. Medical experts say some women are likely to develop the disease more than others. But one thing is clear. Occurrence increases with age, with a peak at between 35 and 55 years old. Those who start their monthly menstruation early, before the age of 10, and those who reach menopause late, after 55, have greater propensity of developing the disease. Late childbirth after 30, short period of breastfeeding, and women who never had or have had less than three pregnancies would also be prone to the disease. Of course, a genetic factor like heredity is also implicated. According to Mrs. Akiridulu, despite these factors, being a woman predisposes one to breast cancer. Being a woman, because in us we have this hormone called estrogen that is responsible for being female and it has been indicted as number one <laughs> culprit. So therefore, no woman should say, no, I can't be a victim. Every woman is at risk because we are women. Mrs. Odinaka Ohanaja and Mrs. Adedoja Adeniji are both victims of breast cancer. Before the affliction, Mrs. Ohanaja was happily married with two children. But today, she lives a lonely life, having been abandoned by her husband and the children because of her present state. Survival has become a challenge, and sometimes she lives on what she gets from benevolent friends and neighbors. It started maybe with a breast a milk. Okay. That's how it started. My breast was producing milk. The story of Mrs. Adeniji is not much different. She also had a happy family life and a thriving fashion design business. Six years ago, what seemed like a small boil in her armpit, which she thought was inconsequential, turned into a major problem. Life has not been the same for her since. I'm a fashion designer. I cannot walk again. And during that period, before the time, I lose my two sons. I have not even go out for help. In Nigeria, for several reasons including late identification, ignorance, 
religious beliefs and the fear of the unknown, death from the disease continues to be on the increase, which leads most people to feel that the disease is incurable. Breast cancer is curable. It is curable. And is one of the um, aspects of the awareness that we must take up very seriously. When survivors come out to speak, it sends a very positive message. As I speak, I'm about 15 years and still counted. So, obviously, you can survive breast cancer and lead a productive life. To reduce the incidence of breast cancer, the federal and state ministries of health have taken steps to provide mammogram machines in hospitals where women can go for free tests and diagnosis. You've heard it all, early detection is key to surviving breast cancer. I took up Dr. Mario Adelaja, an oncologist at the Bloom Cancer Care and Support Center here in Lagos. He threw some insight into the causes of the disease and why the cure is still a mystery till date. Okay, I'd like to find out from you, you just said that um, cancer can affect both male and female. Who are those that are most prone to the disease? Is it women or men? Now, everyone is prone to the disease. When we look at the women folk, any woman can develop breast cancer. We cannot really predict it is going to be Mrs. A, Mrs. B, or Mrs. C, as the case may be. What we know in medical sciences is that out of 23 to 30, uh, 23 to 33 out of every 100,000 women is at risk. So we can't really pinpoint. But then there are risk factors which, when present, there's the tendency of developing breast cancer is increased. Those risk factors are genetic and then you have the environmental factors. The average cost to remove a lump, a small lump, not a major breast mass, a small lump that might not even be cancer, in a, in a, on an outpatient basis in, in a general hospital now is going for the minimum of about 20 to 30 thousand naira and that is in Lagos. You okay, can imagine the cost in other places where you don't have surgeons. Then chemotherapy, the drugs that we are using, you are having drugs that are going from 50 to 350 thousand naira per dose. And the person might have to go through a regimen that involves four doses in eight different uh, uh, at eight different intervals. So you can imagine the cost. So we are rolling into millions. So what happens to the poor really is, unfortunately, they just die off. That's what's happening. They are not getting effective treatment, which now makes me insist that let us focus on prevention. Okay, now, uh, any message for those suffering from the disease already? Right, I would love them not to see cancer as a death sentence. There is hope. They, on their own, with their condition, can encourage, encourage others who have. They can also encourage and be a strong force in driving for development of our uh, um, cancer health services in this country. So I want, I would love to see a shift of 
a lot of patients playing the part of I am the victim, I am the victim, to a part of I am the advocate, I am the advocate, and I think we can change our country for better with respect to cancer. Cancer is not just the growth of tumor. Cancer is a breakdown of total, of total bodily functions to have caused the cancer in the first place. So the uh, best way to look at it as a wholesome treatment that takes care of many aspects of the body. The first part of the protocol that we recommend is avoiding certain foods that are cancer causing. For example, um, white sugar, white flowers, too much salt, white rice, all those four whites should be reduced drastically or avoided. The second part of that is also too much animal protein. Animal protein, too much of it has been found to be responsible for certain cancers like pancreatic cancer, like prostate cancer. So we need to cut down on those things uh, and increase what we call the cancer fighting foods, which include fruits, a lot of vegetables, we have a lot of vegetables and fruits in Nigeria, as well as taking plenty of water, okay? And uh, the third part also, the third thing you can do also to avoid uh, um, uh, cancer is to take certain food supplements that, that are also found to be cancer fighting. Uh, this include uh, things like vitamin B17, also called Lytrel, which is found in natural uh, fruits, which when taken in good quantities, can also help to prevent cancer. Then you need to strengthen the immune system of the body, in order to boost the immune system of the body. Because what that does is to help the body's immune defense system to fight cancer itself. And that includes using things like beta glucan, which is a, 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 an easily available a natural product. It's not a synthesized chemical product, it's a natural product. Other things that we also look at is lifestyle changes, exercise. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention about food is avoid fried foods. When you fry food, it receives really a lot of poisons from the oils that are being used to fry food. Instead of frying food, take grilled food or take it as much as possible broiled or boiled and put it straight into your stew. So those are some of the strategies. So when you combine all these things together, that is what makes, helps to make the cancer patient feel better. And that is what we recommend. All right, the women folk, the advice is simple. Be conscious of changes you notice in and around your breast. Self-examination is easy and helpful. Rush straight to see a doctor if you notice any pain size lump in and around your breast. This can make the difference between life and death. Thank you for watching.